Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 21 and 22 of Amigami SS. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 21 and 3, 2, 1, go. I got freaking. You know what I hate? Um, you go to Wawa, you get a pretzel, you eat the pretzel, and that pretzel bit is stuck in your teeth. Like, oh my god. I know, baby. We hope that the student council president treats you just as good as the rest of the girls did. Not in the mood. I'm too depressed. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, what if you got dumped on Christmas? Seeing all the lovey-dovey-ish, that's how I feel when it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> I'd be secretly over here like, I want the world to burn. Like, <laughs> I hate saying that though, but it's so fucking true. I, I am the type of person where every year on Valentine's Day, like I, the last time I had a Valentine, Valentine boyfriend, like one of my boyfriends. Um, 20 not, 2018, 2019, I'll say that. Um, other than that, it's just been me, solo, -lo YOLO-ish. But, okay, I'll, okay, I'll give you this example. The last couple of years when I was working at UPS, any time when we were leading up to Valentine's Day, and couples would come in. I'm over here like, can y'all get out of my face, please? Or, or sometimes, like, I, I do the smile. And like, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. So fucking cute. But in the si inside, I'm like, get the F away from me. I don't want to be in your lovey-dovey moment right now. Like, I don't have anyone to lovey-dovey on. I just have me, myself, and I. I have my dog. My dog can't really do anything. It's just me, myself, and I. But now I'm more empowered by it because that is, it, it, you can still love yourself on Valentine's Day. And I think that's sweet. Take yourself out for Valentine's Day. Take yourself out on a Christmas date. Take yourself out on a regular date. Self-love. I still have freaking bits of pretzel stuck in my mouth. Oh my god. Well, boys, did you even try? <laughs>
like the girl in the back who falling asleep. Of course. That's fine. Something tells me this is going to be the moment when Junichi, he's either going to be like, yeah, I want to do it, or we're going to pick someone. Oh. Very surprising. Hmm. But it might be fun. No, not right now, though. <laughs> it's only the first episode of their arc. You got this. Nope, just a childhood friend. In another life, she was a girlfriend. Kind of. I'm still disappointed in that ending, because god dang. Yeah, please don't. We don't need to be locked inside. Ugh. 
the door is going to close. Oh! Fuck. It's okay. It was an accident. Huh. Independent chip and leadership. Duh. That's you. But independence, leadership. Okay, somebody keep the door open. Oh my god.
She really does a lot. And that must be a lot on her, but probably it just doesn't look like. Buddy, I mean, you're still young, honey. It belongs to Sakasa. Mm -hmm. That's like her her lifeline, her everything. Ugh. Hey, yo, what the hell? This girl over here about to nuke his ass. I excuse me. Sukasa. I, I, I mean, hold up. She was doing that like the first freaking episode of Monogatari. <laughs> freaking said, you know how to like, you know, you say something bad about me. I'm about to take this stapler and staple the shit out of you. I'm about to take these rulers, these scissors, all this X, Y, and Z. Like, girl is over here like, you got a death wish today? You want to die today? Girl! The fuck? Oh, okay. But, you know, she could be joking. You're like, mm, yeah, but you found out about my little notebook and you weren't supposed to find out about that. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what?
What the absolute fuck? <laughs> I, I don't even know what else to say about this. She, you know what? Sukasa, she's really sweet. Um, she kind of reminds me of me in a little way because of the fact that she puts so much like her all into everything that she just doesn't have time for like anything else because that's how I currently feel I am always super duper busy with so many things that like other things I want to do I just never really have the time like I I, I want to stream again and finish this damn game for you guys even though I know how it freaking ends for an example but either one of two things now officially happen either I am tired or it fucking rains Every single time when I want to stream, it fucking rains. It thunders so freaking bad that I am like, I am not willing for anything to be lost. Because once that shit gets lost, like, it, ugh, that's a lot of shit that you have to do just to get it back. And I'm not willing to do that. So I, I literally try, like, if I could, even with my schedule now, because sometimes it depends on what time now I get off of work at Clarinetville, um, like, today, okay, today is Thursday, so Friday, okay, tomorrow, but by the time y'all see this, it's Saturday morning for Patreons, um, of course, I'll be at work, unfortunately, because I gotta work this whole fucking weekend, um, <laughs> uh, sometimes like I think like okay tomorrow I am off at seven and then Saturday I won't be seeing or doing any videos till about like seven eight ish um depending on what time because I do have like I'm trying to get some other things done because thank god Monday Monday's a, a holiday and I'm automatically off on that day um even though three people do have to work that day thank god it ain't me um but it's even hard now because, like, like I said, there are some days because, like, I was looking at my schedule and next week, like, I, I'm the closing shift. And I don't like being closing shifts. I like being morning shifts. But um, because I haven't done anything closing-wise yet, like, that's going to be a brand new thing that I'm going to have to go into next week. And I wonder how the hell that's going to go. But, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I do feel for her because she... She takes on way too much, and I'm, I'm like that too. And sometimes when I am like that, and I continuously do that without thinking to myself, like, no, you need to stop, um, sometimes I have, like, a quote-unquote panic attack moment, and I, excuse me, so, uh, second-guess myself and such, and then it's always, like, I fuck myself over in the end. So... Long story short, don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 22. Alrighty, episode 22 and 3, 2, 1, go. She about to kill you. She could be just fucking around with you. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you touched my shit? Oh, nothing's wrong. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
But like, you didn't read the thing I scrolled? <laughs> exactly. You can say that. Because if you don't, you get hurt. Yeah. Now see, here's the thing. Why do you want to know so badly? <laughs> see? That's why you don't ask. There you go. <laughs> Probably it's like she's secretly a delinquent or something. Because she's giving those feels, dead ass. Right? Right. 100% true. But see, he secretly liked that shit. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think anybody would believe you. I think if someone told me that, I'd be like, but she's so nice. Oh. 
Yeah, he found it yesterday. Good. About to beat the shit out. <laughs> The Right? I mean, you could distance yourself from her or an Amelie snitch. You try to. But no matter what, you're still here. I mean, you got a secret kink or something? I mean, we know she is the next girl you're going to fall in love with. But yeah, you got a kink. <laughs> Mm. 
What's wrong? Whoa. <laughs> no. Come on. He's in the room. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks for the bananas and medicine. Yeah, you could have really just sat and watched her sleep, or you could have just accidentally really fall asleep in her room. Miyamoto did that in Hori Mia, so. We're giving the dog a sports drink? I don't think the doggy can drink sports drinks. Right, because they are completely different. Two completely different personalities. Well, I mean, because bananas have potassium in it, so that could be good.
<laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. I love how once again, Mori, she just says this like it's nothing, but that's because these two are secretly in love with each other. They're a couple regardless. So, <laughs> she has to say that about her girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, Mori, oh my god, girl. Please. He getting a little too excited. <laughs> You okay? You sure? Hmm? Hmm? What? The dog that's been walking around <laughs> with your sister. Yeah. Yeah. He is just like you. <laughs> Probably so. Seriously, she is such a little tease that it's not even funny. Just after watching episode one of the of her arc, and then now episode two, yeah, she's sweet. She has her moments, 
Even though, because she's like, I don't want anybody to know, like, my true thing, how, like, not, well, she's not a brooding bitch. She has bitchy moments. That's really every girl who has bitchy moments just as much as anybody, and as a guy can. But, like I said, her, she's very similar to, um, the, the delinquent character in Chikonoko, because she has this very, you know, student council president ambiance, like, oh, she's so happy, and stuff. She gets shit done, but, you know, every time when Chikonoko comes in here and does her shit, girl, real personality comes out, mother effing delinquent up in here, and everybody's like, oh my god, I want her to yell at me too, and I'm like, What? <laughs> okay. You know, all I'm gonna say is whatever floats your boat. Whatever your kink is, explore that. Explore it. Yes. I I'm not gonna say become one with it, even though I'm saying it right now. But you know, hey, explore it to your limits. Know your limits. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Now, something also tells me, someone else, aka the other girl who was in there a couple of minutes ago, a second ago really, um, probably is going to find out Sukasa's true personality and possibly is going to do something to be like, you know, expose her and such. I don't know. Um, I love how she's already thinking, like, she's seeing that, oh, I might be into him and such, and, you know, I think for, you know, Juichi himself... Maybe between this episode and the last episode, specifically the moment where, like, she she very, she has a very dominating personality, and he ha that that has to be his kink. Has to be, dead ass. Because what else could it be? <laughs> I thought I'm gonna say about this episode, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 21 and 22 of Amigami oh SS. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Saturday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 23 and 24. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.